What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool with Cool Kicks. We are back for another video bright and early in the morning out in Pittsburgh. Hitting up a bunch of these stores. Let's go. This Burlington just opened. It is 9.30 a.m. Just saw the first customer go in. Let's go. These rocks were so awesome a couple days ago. Let's see if we can continue that trend. It is Sunday morning, probably the worst morning probably to go out because they probably don't get any shipments don't get any new shipments they got these bootleg looking nfl apparel yeah nobody wants those jordan t-shirt 15 bucks all right apparel section tops bottoms just not much not even not much there's absolutely nothing to show you guys Let's see what's up with the sneaker section what are these the flyknit racers or something 75 dollars just Way too much, way too much. Under Armour. What are these going for? 50 bucks for those. Top 10's going for 45. Got some leftover tobacco for free. Hoka Challenger ATR is going for 80. Have we seen this color? Kyrie's going for 57, just way too much. Under Armour Phantoms, these normally go for 150 plus. $47. More infinities. More colorways. Got Lowe's going for $55. Second colorway of the Lowe's right here. Same price. Another, I don't know, what is some sort of hover? Under Armour hover going for $50. Third colorway of the Lowe's right here. That's a huge size though, $55. More of the same. Finding a lot of off course lines. Patriot off course lines. Let's go for 20. Oh, dang, dude. 10 more dollars than, than. I think the retail's only 25. Oh, uh, 35 on these. Okay. Do got a hat section. Not much. Got Michigan adjustable hat going for 7 bucks. That's a new era. That's about it, though. Dang, the women's section actually worse than the guys' section. Do got some full length boost Terex. Going for 37. These are usually way expensive. Got some vans. I've never seen these vans here. Doing their ultra boost impression. Going for $39.99. The ultra range, is that what those are called? Superstars, 40 bucks. Got that interesting texture on the three stripes. That's it, man. That's it. All right, let's go. Uh, right next door, they have a Burlington. This one opened 40 minutes ago. Let's go. All right, starting off with the men's active. I think Sunday's just a bad day to be out. I think that's what it is. Oh, is, this, is this what I think it is? Oh, Mitchell and S. Chicago shirt? Mitchell and S. Chicago shirt. This is a large. Man, I'd be talking too quick sometimes. Mitchell and S. Large. Chicago shirt. Six time world champion. This is actually pretty fire. $13. $13. Bucks. Windy City in the back. Man, I'm gonna have to grab these. Uh, I'm gonna have to grab it. it. It's a large, it's not for me. I don't know, someone someone will need it. Got looks like a University of Texas color. Nike pullover, 15 bucks, normally 65. NFL apparel. Kind of low end. Uh, Chicago jersey, going for a 13. Got a Nike dry fit, is this? Is that Liverpool? I don't know, I don't know who that is. Normal $85, and it is down to 30, so that's not bad. West Virginia, I've seen a few West Virginia things. $10, Nike dry fit. Damn, I thought this was a Lakers. No, it's not, it's just a purple uh, dry fit hoodie, going for 20 bucks. St. Louis? This is actually pretty nice. St. Louis NHL hoodie. $30 for these. Double XL Raiders hoodie. It is a what, NFL brand. It's kind of team apparel. Yeah, it's going for $17. Pretty thin. And then shorts. Nothing. Nothing. Just got this low end. An NBA apparel thing. That's about it. Nothing. Just like... Every other section out here, every other short section. There's a clearance rack right here. West Virginia Nike jersey, Nike replica. 
seventeen dollars. Normally seventy-five. That's not bad. Why is there so much West Virginia stuff here? Majestic, Cleveland Guardians. Oh, uh, there's. Oh, okay. Yeah, this was down to seventeen eighty-nine. This is a size large. If it was smaller, probably would get it. Need a medium for that stuff. All right, men's shoes section right here. And we're starting off with some Grant heels, size eight and a half. These are nice. Suede, Nyx colorway. These are super fire, $35. These are actually really nice. Then of course, more Trey Youngs, going for 40. Which dames are these? I don't know which dames are. Are they the certifieds? They look like the certifieds, $35 for these. USA colorway. Even says USA in the insole, pretty dope. Got some super colorful vans. Size eight, thirty dollars. Lowlands. These are pretty comfortable. Thirty-seven. Size seven and a half. Twenty-four for these. Some and ones that I don't recognize. Yeah, I don't recognize these from way back when. Thir Twenty-five. Cleveland Brown, size eleven. Off court slides, fifteen bucks. Couple pairs. Pittsburgh Steelers going for fifteen. Size eight. Size 13 for the Browns. Chiefs, size 12. Size 10. And which ones are these? Size 12 in the back right there as well. Oregon with the size, I don't know what size. And then some Seahawks one in the back right here, size 12. Grab one of these for one of my boys. Then of course, more of these. And more West Virginia, size 14 for $40. Selling you a lot of West Virginia stuff here, $40. And then plenty of Pittsburgh stuff. Y'all live out here, Pittsburgh Steelers fan, plenty of those. And plenty of these, I haven't even showed all of them. And I got some Jordans. Do you got Jordans? Not really. But yeah, $50, damn, we've seen these cheaper, these Jordan Access, we've seen them cheaper at the outlets. All right, let me pay for these two items and then I'm gonna have to go hit up another spot. Do got Pittsburgh hats. These are fitted too. New era fitted cap. These are actually fire. I don't know what size my boy wears though. Seven and a half for this. I feel that's got a big head. Like I do too, you know. <laughs> do you got snapbacks right here? Hmm. This one's kind of cooler because it. Like, feels like it's from Pittsburgh, you know what I'm saying? This is a snapback. Normally 39 That's down to freaking $13. But, uh, but, yeah, I prefer fitted, so, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Let me hit this full up. It's early out in L.A., so let's, let's see what happens. More adjustables right here. Pittsburgh. Pirates hats. These are down to what? $13. They have a pretty good selection of Pittsburgh stuff right here. Oh, they got these right here too, just the plain Pittsburgh Steelers one, seven, five, eight. Covers most sizes. Got the flex fit ones right here. Got some Brewers ones. Okay, let's see if this full replies. Paid $27 for both of these. Shirts normally $55. The slides are normally $35, so wow. That's what's up. Any of y'all that watch out from Pittsburgh or Pennsylvania, like these eating parks are everywhere. Is it a diner? What is it? Is it a freaking buffet? I can't tell from the outside. I haven't gotten it. Probably should have tried it, man. They got a million of these. Like I swear they got one on every block. All right, this one just opened 15 minutes ago. Let's go. Men's active wear. Like this is it for the medium? Like this is it? What the hell? Got Penn State stuff right here. Penn State merch. That's what top, top of the world. Never heard that brand. Thirteen dollars. Pittsburgh Steelers at Team NFL Apparel. Twenty dollars. Okay, they got more mediums on this side, and more Baker Mayfield. Stop! Stop following us, Baker Mayfield. Nike Pirates T-shirt going for seventeen dollars in a large. More of these. Got them in yellow as well. I would assume same price. No price tag on that one. What is this? Oh man, 3XL though, dude. Polo Malo jersey. 
This is way too big. Triple XL. Oh my goodness, this is so fire. $50. And it's a Super Bowl one. Dang, dude, this is it's kind of thin though. And it's pressed on. You don't see too many Mitchell and S that are pressed on like that. What the hell? What's that about? What is that about? Hmm. 2005. Damn, this is fire. If I could find just a better size, obviously, I would grab it. Yeah, I don't know. Triple XL is just too big. The Nike Minnesota Twins jersey. I don't know who that is. Araiz? Araiz? $40 for that bad boy right there. Doesn't have the original oh, tag, so I don't know the original price. But these are these aren't bad, dude. These ain't bad. Minnesota fans. I don't know if he's on the team, though. That's the big thing. I did comb through the clothes a second time because I'm like, that Palo Malo jersey got me so motivated to look for stuff. Not much in the hat section. Nor the backpack section. Do you got Nike basketballs? Normally $25 down to $12. Decent outdoor ball that is rubber, though. So, outdoor, not bad. Got Nike lunch boxes, normally 25 to 10 if y'all need lunch boxes. All right, we're checking out the sneakers. Man, that Palo Malo jersey, if you just found a better size, I'd definitely be able to, to grab that. Dang it. All right, not too much. Got these in multiple sizes, go for $18. Then got some mediocre looking Reeboks, go for what, way too much at 40. That's it, you just get this one aisle right there. And then half aisle right here. That's it, man. Wait, I didn't notice these. Some vans going for 18. I've never seen the silhouette though. That's it. Women's section, hella dry as well. I think that's about it. Is that the old? I think that's about it, man. There aren't that many Ross Marshalls. They're all very, very spread out as well. So I wasn't able to hit up as many as I was hoping. Everything in Pittsburgh is like way spread out. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right, there's a Ross next to the airport. Came here two days ago. Let's see if we find anything here. This place has so much heat. I'm curious to see if they still have it and to see if they had any restocks since I last came. Eric Carr Nike jersey. Dude, he was there long enough. You can you can grab his jersey, right? I would I would sport it. Jacob's jersey right here. This is a team apparel though. 25 that's a is that a large still got a travis kelsey jersey this is a double xl super bowl one i did grab one of these from my boys i got a triple xl for him team apparel this is an xl if this was a medium i would grab it you know like with the hoodies i'm not as picky to be really honest especially 15 dollars because you, you can't find a hoodie an nfl hoodie for under 30 40 bucks man on this one, they had all kinds of ridiculous Ultra Boost. That was one of the best Ultra Boost selections I've seen. Uh, let's see. These were not here. This is a women's though, but these weren't here. Ultra Boost 2022s. $25 for these bad boys. I don't see a price tag, but they've all been 25. Doesn't have the Continental rubber on the bottom. This thing has tons of boost on it. It's a ZK. XK, whatever the hell these are called. Yeah, 25 bucks for those. Nike baseball cleats. A lot of this stuff is different. I don't remember seeing a lot of this stuff here. $20 for these. More cleats. I don't know who. That is a signature player. This is a signature. I don't know for who though, because it says, it says engineer to the exact specifications of somebody. I don't know, M somebody. So but yeah, 20 bucks. Still do got the Hoka's right here going for 80. I, I saw at least six or seven pair of Ultra Boosts. I grabbed two of them. They're all gone. I don't see any Ultra Boosts here. They're all 25 bucks. Some Hoka hiking shoes and a Kappa's. I haven't really ever seen this until I've came here. These are going for 80 bucks. These are an 11 and a half. Yep. Haven't checked the socks at any of the stores. Nike classic socks if you need some super bright ones going for six dollars. These are the high ones going for four dollars. These are only 12. 
This is such a good place for socks. This is for youth and for women though, it's a smaller size. Like look, if you're a Kansas City Royals fan, $3. If you're a Swedish fish fan, got those right there for you. I might have to grab these for somebody. Someone like to smoke out a lot, grab one of these, $4. These, these are normally like 20 bucks. Got some tapatillas, someone like hot sauce, get them one of these, five bucks. Snoopy fans, anybody got, if anybody has any SpongeBob, Kyrie's, fools that like to smoke, fools that are just cheesy, just give them one of these, man. Marvel fans, ooh, you like that? Eight dollars? I know I checked the women's section last time, I don't remember what I found though. And I've been to like 20 stores, too, so my bad. Are these the, the Phantoms? Yeah, these are the Phantoms. $47. These are normally like a, a buck fifty or something. That's a size 10. That's an eight and a half men's. And these are insane huge. These are men's, dude. These are men's 11 and a half because these are huge. But yeah, the Infinities, the Hover Infinity, going for 50 bucks. Superstars and the women's. These are uh, nine and a half go for 40. Got some platforms also for 40. Got some Pegasus right here, seven and a half. What these go for $65? Dang, that's a lot, really? Damn, they're jacking it up for Nikes. Dang, that's how stuff goes, man. That's how quick things go. I'm telling you, I saw tons of Ultra Boosts. Okay, oh, there's one last one right here. $25 in the women's. This is a size six in the women's. But yeah, saw like seven or eight pairs. They're all gone, all gone. So I guess I'm grabbing this and at least I got my two pairs of Ultra Boost. And then I think there might be one more Marshalls around here. Let's go ahead and one more Marshalls before I go to the airport. Got a Marshalls, even got a TJ Maxx next door. All right, let's go. Men's active tops. Let's go, let's go. Ezekiel Elliott, if you don't mind a bench player, you don't mind a bench player, this is freaking dope. $40, this is the on-field jersey 160, stitched in everything. Like I said, he is on the bench, he's still on the team though. All right, went through all the mediums, that's the only thing. They got one in a large as well. They got stuff here at the end. If y'all like the cheaters, the Astros, they got these, <laughs> $40 for these. And of course they have, who the hell is, oh, I thought this was Aaron Rodgers. Who the hell is Smith? I don't know. Probably doesn't play for him anymore. On field, but it is pressed on. But 15 bucks, dude. So cheap. And then I got another one of these. Oh, a couple more. Got a Maryland Under Armour jersey. Triple XL, though. Kind of big. I don't know the regular price, but $15 for that. Browns t shirts going for $13. Hmm. Conference champion. We don't want. Sports fans don't want conference champion stuff. They want, they want NFL championships. Like you know, Super Bowl. See, like this one, Super Bowl. See, this is fire. This is a medium. Eight dollars. Eight freaking dollars. Got Ezekiel in blue as well. If you need a blue one, go for forty. What? What? They got throwbacks. Priest Holmes jersey throwbacks. This is a triple XL. Holy cow. They do have a few, all quadruple XL, 4XL. That is crazy to find Priest Holmes. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, right? I was just at the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I didn't, I don't remember him, but I'm definitely, definitely, definitely fire. It does have the sewn in numbers and stuff like that. Normally a buck 60, $50, wow. Then do have a Nike shirt, 49er shirt, but I'm just not into the dry fit like that. Pretty dope, but I'm not into the, the dry fit, man. Then University of Minnesota hoodie. This is a champion hoodie, double XL. Got these bad boys going for $13. Wow, that's a deal. Marshalls with that Mitchell and S, man. Hitting hard, hitting hella hard, wow. Their sneaker selection's been awful. Pumas, more Pumas. Some New Balance. Some Romas, and that's it, man. That's it. Came to the sale section. They have a clearance section right here. Look at this Guardians t shirt going for 10 bucks. Not bad. 
And then been checking the hats because I missed that Pittsburgh hat for my boy. He texted me way later because it was early as hell in Cali. I even backtracked, went to a couple different Rosses. I couldn't remember which store I saw it at. But yeah, man, so much for that. All right, there's a TJ Maxx. The one near me doesn't even have men's sneakers, so we'll see. They have a men's section. And this place is owned by the same people as Marshall's, so that's why I figured I'd try. And then, of course, we get the cursed. Oh, this is a Mayfield, though. Oh, Colt McCoy, really? Colt McCoy from 2007? What the, like, what the hell? That's from a while ago. Okay, it's an XL for youth for $13. That's pretty much about it. Got some Nirvana shorts, 13 bucks. Chicago Bears shirt, that's it, dude. that's it. NFL team apparel, some low budget stuff. But yeah, $8, can't complain with that. So do you got some of the Penn State stuff? This is some of the stuff at some of the Marshalls. $13 for these, not too bad. It's top of the world brand, never heard of that one. Then they got Steelers, look at this, dry fit Nike, dry fit, 15 bucks. More Penn State t-shirts. The Pittsburgh Pirates. It's like a, um, it's like a dry fit pullover going for 30. More Steelers t-shirts. These are Nike dry fit 15. Doing a restock. All I see are like a ton of Crocs up top. And then yeah, I'm not really anticipating much here. I'll still look around. I think it's just women's shoes. No boxes or nothing. No price tags either. Never mind, $25, 25 bucks for Crocs. The ones with the lining, $30 for those. Got some Uggs with the extra fur, $40 for these. These Crocs that nobody likes, going for $13 on clearance. And I think this is the last find. Fresh foam, more trainers. That's a lot of fresh foam on them. $80 for these, they want $80. Oh man, they, they're crazy. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much about it. My trip to Pittsburgh and Cleveland done. Still got a bunch of Cleveland videos coming. So yeah, make sure you guys help a boy up. Press that like button if you're new. Subscribe. And then click on one of these videos. Got a ton and ton of videos. Might be two a day. We'll see. See y'all.